I would refer to it as a she. And I just envision a distressed woman in a red dress. I became kind of just like entranced. The story of the Moulin Rouge is the story of me, the story of my people. It was the first integrated hotel and casino. From the time it was built, it was built for right and it was built for good. But this is the original property. So what you see that's left is the hotel. So right about here would have been the theater. Right in here would have been like the lobby and the casino. And then right in the middle over there where it's kind of sunken in, that would have been a pool. When I think about the Moulin Rouge opening, I envision her sign lit, lit up, illuminated. I envision people super duper excited to be there. Like we're finally getting our own hotel and casino. You know where we can go and stay and play and be free. The Moulin Rouge closed in six months. The sheriff padlocked the doors. No one knows why he did it or where he got his orders from. It feels like the historic West Side has had the life sucked out of it. Of course, I look at what would have happened if the property had never closed in the first place. What would the neighborhood look like? I have been working on the Moulin Rouge project most of my adult life. I really feel in my heart the restoration of this property will be the beginning of the restoration of race relations in America. It's just that huge and it's just that serious. As a community group, we have formed an organization whose sole purpose is to revitalize this community, which includes the Moulin Rouge. We've had the Riviera, the Desert Inn, the Flamingo, the Tropicana. We can only guess that this neighborhood would have flourished the same as the others had the property not closed. So we believe that there was an economic injustice as well as a racial injustice that happened to a people. And not just a little part of town, but the whole people suffered behind that. It's important to bring back the Moulin Rouge because it would be the economic engine for this neighborhood. And I feel like it's one of those wrongs that have to be done right. Support to rebuild the Moulin Rouge in historic West Las Vegas. For decades, the property at the corner of Bonanza and MLK has been plagued with problems. Bankruptcy, fires, demolition. And now, 61 years after it first opened, community leaders are vowing to return the Moulin Rouge to its former glory. I believe every developer has failed because their development concept did not include historic preservation. Every developer who came wanted to tear it completely down and build something new. And they didn't realize how much passion and spirit is in that property. When I hear Mrs. Duncan's stories, she tells me about what she worked in, what she went through, what she saw. Sometimes he had to sit back and cry. One day we went to the site and I had, uh, I just looked at her and she kind of just, I could see her just get lost in the distance. And I get so overwhelmed with the Moulin Rouge. And when I see other people 
her story is so much longer than mine and she's been part of it that I don't know what it's gonna take. I think the Moonlight Rules, black people see it as a reflection of us. Whenever you see the story of black people, so many images are these negative images of something that was done to us. We can understand that that's our struggle. We can understand that that's part of where we came from. We didn't do it to ourselves, but it was done to us. Okay, but. There needs to be a new language, a new conversation of accomplishments of what we are able to do. It's just important for us to see ourselves in a good light and not always see ourselves in the worst of conditions. And I don't want to pass on to another generation of children what we've endured as adults in America. I don't think we have to.